Hi everybody! I just got done watching The Incredible Hulk at the theater today. I thought it was great. Um, I thought that Edward Norton did an awesome job of playing Bruce Banner. In the very, pretty close to the beginning of the movie, they had him in his room watching a television program and it had Bill Bixby on it, so that was really cool. Bill Bixby is the actor that played Bruce Banner in the television series, and he's not alive anymore. I think he died in 1993. But they also had a cameo appearance by Lou Ferrigno, who was the man who played the Incredible Hulk in the original series, and he also voiced the Hulk, and it was, it was really cool. It was neat to see him. And Stanley, of course, he always does his cameo appearances, and this one was really neat. He kind of actually put himself in the story, and um, it was a little bit longer than his cameo appearances usually are. I know in one of the Spider-Man movies, it was like just a flash. He was down in the crowd, and you really had to watch for him in some of his cameo appearances. Of course, Liv Tyler was in the movie. She played Betty, Bruce Banner's girl and she does a great job in everything I really am a big Liv Tyler fan I thought she was awesome um, one of my favorite parts of the movie was when the Hulk he took a military Jeep and he crushed it up into a ball like it was a tin can like it was a soda can or something and he threw it it was really it was wild it was cool uh, I really liked the Hulk's color. I liked how he looked. I liked the shade of green. It was it was not a nice, pretty shade of green. Not too bright. I thought he just I thought he looked great. Of course, the Hulk had to keep running away so that the military wouldn't find him, and also he didn't want to endanger the people around him. Um, and that's just. That's the story of the Hulk. It's kind of a sad story because the Hulk has to keep running away. Uh, one, another really cool cameo appearance they had in the movie was Robert Downey Jr. played Tony Stark. He was in the end of the movie just for a minute and I won't tell you what he said or anything uh, because I don't want to spoil anything. Um, but overall it was just awesome. It was, it was, the movie had beautiful scenery in it too. Lots of different landscapes because Bruce Banner had to move around and go to different places. So you had some really beautiful outdoorsy mountain scenery and then uh, New York City. So it was really, I really like movies whenever, you know, all the scenery isn't the same. They go from one place to another and it, it, the environment changes. Um, for parents, in case you want to take your children to see this movie, I think it's a good I think it's a good movie for kids to see. Um, of, obviously, there's going to be a lot of violence in it, and there's some blood here and there. Um, there's movies that are a lot worse, but if you are a parent that you don't mind taking your kid to see Spider-Man, then this is milder than Spider-Man. Uh, I thought a lot of the scenes in all three of the Spider-Man movies were pretty intense. Uh, for kids, and I, th I thought this was on a milder level than the Spider-Man movies. So, um, I give it a thumbs up all the way around. I just thought it was awesome. Great. I'd recommend it to you, so get out there and watch it.